Once you have the installation file, you can double click on it or right click and select Run as Administrator. Once it is installed, you can navigate to the sample programs. There are samples for CNC++ under the PowerDNA subdirectory. And there are samples for Java, .NET, C++ under the Framework directory. Using the API available under the PowerDNA subdirectory allows you to port your application to a Linux, QNX, and even a VxWorks host in the future. There's also a serial terminal with the correct communication parameters. And PowerDNA Explorer, an application that allows you to exercise the data acquisition system from a graphical user interface. One last and very important thing. Once installed, you will need to update the firmware on the Cuba rack so that the version of firmware matches the version that you just installed. Please see the PowerDNA Explorer introduction video to learn how to do this. Now we're going to show you how to install PowerDNA for Linux. Copy the contents of the TGZ file to a location of your choice. Now navigate to the source subdirectory and type make. Once that is complete, please type sudo make install. Now you can type make samples. And that's it. You've installed and built everything you need to start your development. As I mentioned before, once installed, you will need to update the firmware on the Cuba rack to ensure that the firmware version matches the version of software you just installed. Please see the PowerDNA Explorer introduction video to learn how to do this.